Yo, what up, world? It's your main man, Black Santa. <laughs> On this episode of Black Dad's Diary, as you could tell, this is the Christmas episode. So, uh, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year's. Happy Holidays to you and your family. For me and mine, even though this episode is a little bit late, this is still the Christmas episode. Right here... You see my son, who needed a haircut bad. Mm, mm, mm. You see my son opening the gift for my Auntie Barbara for Christmas. Because uh, she know what kind of things he into, being that it's uh, Christmas time. One of his favorite things is to put a train around a Christmas tree. So this is a train for my Auntie Barbara that my son opened, and he loved it. A PlayStation 5. That's it. And Pokemon toys. Wakanda clothes. And that's it. <laughs> Hi, um, I want to give a wiener dog a Tendo and I hope my PS4 works. I want money for Christmas, because with money, I can buy anything. What I, what I want for Christmas is the Cyberpunk 2077 game. Um, any, the leg, the, probably the new Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga, or, and probably the Reapers, Blasters, and probably like Pokemon cards or something. Alright, so as y'all seen, that was my little nephew, my son, my goddaughter, and my oldest nephew saying what they wanted for Christmas. And their personalities are so funny, the way they ask for shit. But this right here, what we looking at now, I forgot what this game is called. I guess it's supposed to be called Foil Ball, but it's really fucking Saran Wrap. You got to roll a number. You got to roll a dice and see how long it take you to, like, stop the next person from unraveling the ball of saran wrap. But you can only use, like, one hand or some shit. I don't know if I'm even explaining this right. I would need my girlfriend who's sitting right there with the Grinch sweater on. I would need her to explain this shit to y'all because I'm probably fucking up the explanation. But to watch these kids play this game on Christmas... It's funny as hell. Just, oh, right now, you can't see her face. But I want to say that's probably my sister-in-law explaining the rules of the game to the kids so that they competitive asses don't start chucking shit at each other, trying to cheat and win and shit. Because just like their parents, they competitive as hell. But um, <laughs> they might not know how to show it all the time we got to work on a sportsmanship but hey let's start this game Let, let's see how this goes because as y'all see between my sister-in-law and my girl these motherfuckers have gone ape shit crazy with how big this goddamn saran wrap foil ball is see look at that she got to help the baby find out where the beginning of this shit is so niggas can even start the game because if not somebody's getting hit with that motherfucker and the shit gonna hurt because my son is only nine years old, but as you can see, he's almost as big as his 15-year-old cousin. So, uh, this could get ugly, but let's just sit back and watch, shall we? Oh, yeah, I, I, th I think he's found it. I think, yep, look, yep, look at that, look at that. And he like, God damn it, I got to use one hand for this shit. Oh, damn. Yeah, so my nephew, it's my nephew turn to unravel. Yeah, they, they, niggas is just slinging this shit all across the table. You ain't got to get paused and restarted for this shit. This shit is crazy. And I thought growing up in a black house that fucking holidays was nuts. 
playing spades, dominoes, monopoly, bingo, all kind of games for money and shit. This shit right here will get your ass knocked the fuck out. Bruh, this shit is epic. Oh, my goddaughter is already cussing, cussing niggas out. Mm, yep. Let's see how this goes. My nephew excited. I don't even, I don't even remember when my nephew just won right there, but these niggas won a lot of shit out this motherfucker. Like, it's all kind of stuff in there. We should have pranked one of them little niggas and put a bill in there. They'd have been like, I don't want to pay no bills. That shit would have been funny as hell. This is the aftermath of the game right here. Niggas is sitting around the table with everything they won, trying to trade each other for the shit they wanted. Which, this shit was funny because they put a lot of girl-only shit in there for my little niece. But my son and my nephews was like, I don't want to give it to her. And then my girl and my sister-in-law was like, all the girls only shit is for the girl in the table. Y'all don't need that shit. Hilarious, bruh. My son eventually was like, here you go, Lizzie. Here's your stuff. <laughs> Her brothers did too, but they was like, but I want it. Yeah, you want it with your little boy, fam. You don't need that shit. <laughs> it's a bunch of makeup and fake eyelashes and shit little girls is into. Uh, especially when you in your preteen years like my goddaughter is. My little niece is already driving us crazy. We want makeup and eyelashes and shit. I remember when she was a baby like my daughter. Now she's talking about makeup and eyelashes and shit. Whew, Lord Jesus, take the wheel. Jesus be a fence. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look like the NBA or the NFL draft in here. Niggas is trading all kind of candies for other shit. This is crazy. But these little niggas had hella fun, though. So this shit is actually pretty fun to watch. Motherfucking comedy. Look at this. This is what is on the table. What would you like to trade for it? What do you want and what are you willing to give up? That is what my sister-in-law is telling all the kids. Like, these trades could go either way. Don't get your fucking hopes up. Don't get offended. And don't be a dick or you will go to bed early. Uh, yeah, it's okay. All right, it's starting to get cool. It's starting to get cool. Look at all the smiles. Yep, mm -hmm, yep. This is what's this. This is what's being traded right now, people. You either want it or you don't. What? It, what is it? What's going down? Then my girl over there gassing it up like, "Hey, that's some good stuff right there, man. Y'all, y'all better come correct, or you ain't gonna get it." Oh, look at that! Look at that! And the trade was done. Ah, oh, yeah. Nothing like seeing the people you love happy, even if it's over something so small as a saran wrap ball game. I ain't never played this shit till I got with my girl. But it's definitely a, a fun time to watch my son and my niece and my nephews motherfucking play this damn game and get so hype over it. It's crazy. You, the, the shit you go through in life legit make you want to fucking do better for moments like these and make you happy as shit. This right here, as you can tell, I'm black, my girl Mexican, my sister-in-law Mexican, and them hands you see flipping them cars is my sister-in-law boyfriend Thomas. So, uh, two black guys is with two Mexican girls raising up two different interracial families. And one of our favorite pastimes, as y'all can tell, is playing games. And this game is called Loteria. Hopefully I said that right, because I could hear my girlfriend in the comments right now correcting the nigga on how I pronounced it. This shit also get competitive. It's like Mexican bingo, but... This shit will absolutely get you fucked up if you pull the wrong shit at the wrong time playing this game with the wrong people. I have absolutely seen niggas get ran off the table for saying Lotteria at the wrong fucking time. Woo wee. Yeah. Fuck up a family reunion quick with this one. Look at the focus on their faces. I, yeah, my girl having fun, but... The kids is like, God damn it. They are focused. They are not trying to miss no cards. 
because they want to win because they are just as competitive as us, just like I said earlier. And this shit is crazy because, man, I'm going to tell you right now, if we're being all the way honest, just listening to the words as they being called out during this game, frustrating as fuck for a nigga that don't know Spanish like that. I be having to look at the pictures and shit, but uh, as you can see, some people, when they call the game, do not motherfucking hold the pictures up for everybody to see. Because in most Mexican families, when you're playing this game, niggas don't hold the pictures up because niggas want to go as fast as possible. So, uh, look at this shit. Look, just look. My son over there in a good mood as always. I think him and my goddaughter was calling La Dorea at the same time. I don't know, but either way, usually it's a good day if both of them is in a good mood at the same time, especially my goddaughter, because being a preteen these days is rough. She be quoting the hell of shit off TikTok that I ain't never even heard of. I be like, what? Then my girl and my sister-in-law be like, oh, it's off TikTok. I be like, God damn it. TikTok strikes again. Shit's crazy. I can't even remember, looking at this footage now, I can't even remember, like, how many rounds of this shit niggas played. Because usually, boy, this shit could go on forever. And ever. And ever. But it's always a good time, though. So, uh, let's watch. Oh, shit. Lock the real over. Now, to the other fun part of Christmas. Niggas is opening gifts, man. God damn, I'm over there looking like somebody's stepdad. Woo! Nigga built like Black Santa for real. All gray with the purple do-rag on. Oh, yeah. Opening gifts for my daughter. I believe my sister-in-law got it at. I'm not too sure. But uh, the funny shit about my daughter with opening gifts on Christmas was... Being that my daughter is only one, her opening gifts on Christmas was quite entertaining. Because once we opened a gift from my grandmother that was a dress, it was something about the tag on this dress that my daughter loved. And she would not let that tag go. Right there, you saw me opening the Snoop Dogg Funko Pop that my girl got me. Thank you, baby. Because the irony is we had seen a Run DMC Funko Pop in Walmart like a couple weeks before that. And I told my girl, you could either give me the Run DMC Funko Pop or you could give me the Snoop Dogg Funko Pop because Snoop Dogg my favorite rapper. And um, shit crazy because I ain't know how many Snoop Dogg Funko Pops it was, but my girl got me the one that made me the happiest. She got me the doggy style Funko Pop, which the reason why the doggy style one made me the happiest is because doggy style was Snoop first album and it was one of the first albums that I ever had that had all the cuss words in it because when I was younger my mama and them you saying let me listen to rap with cuss words in it and shit but um back to the children they all have fun on Christmas and it was a dope ass time you know what I'm saying I ain't getting no footage from New Year's so we just gonna stick to this footage from Christmas